welcome back to my fourth weekly vlog i can't believe i have been doing them for four weeks now where does the time go like honestly the time seems to be going so quickly lately but yeah so it's currently tuesday today yeah, the time is currently quarter past nine i woke up had my breakfast had a shower washed my hair dried my hair and now i feel fresh i'm ready to go for the day who else you love smelling the hair after washing it because oh my god it, it smells of like coconuts clay it's like a coconut shampoo i actually use it, the herbal essences renew shampoo i think it's called they come in all sorts of different color bottles like a brown one that i use a blue a pink and orange i think they're really good and it's the only shampoo that it makes my hair feel soft and like it doesn't it made my hair go tatty either so that is why i do like even those type of shampoos. I'm actually going to work today at around quarter to 12. So yeah, that's why I like to get up at like 8ish and kind of get a bits and bobs done. I'm actually currently exporting a video onto my laptop to basically upload onto YouTube because last night I was probably up until like quarter to 12 editing a weekly vlog and like it was over an hour of footage. So you can just imagine how tired I was after it about I was nearly falling asleep so that wasn't very good but that's all edited and uploaded and then I'll have to transport all the last week's weekly vlog onto my laptop but yeah so it's kind of just like transferring footage and then like deleting footage off my laptop it's just kind of like a continuous cycle if that makes sense but yeah so I'm just kind of chilling I've got my goose and gander jumper on and I also have these the yellow joggers on from you look um i've had these for a while however i've never actually had them on so i basically found them in my drawer and i was like i'm gonna wear them today because you know nice bright color a yellow makes people feel happy doesn't it it's like a very happy color so i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring happy vibes in this vlog today but yeah i'm also having a break from makeup i didn't have any on yesterday and i'm not gonna have any face makeup on today i will put some eyebrows on these eyebrows are actually from yesterday but i completely forgot to wash it off so i'm gonna redo my brows because look a bit messy now but as you can tell my skin is breaking out a tiny bit so i'm just kind of making it breathe for a little bit until i'll probably slap a load of makeup on tomorrow but yeah um also i went to a car boot sale on sunday I would have vlogged it last week, but it was really good. It was made around like, it was Scott made £60 because like, he sold his Xbox, and I made about £30. And I think we're going to do it every other week because it was such like a good experience. You had to get up early, however, it was so worth getting up early for because you kind of have you know, the excitement and build up of kind of like setting up your little stall and, your stall and stuff. So. Yes, yeah, so like I'll have to gather more bits and bobs for the next week when we go, hopefully. Um, so yeah, and then I'll probably be seeing Scott tomorrow as well because I've I've wanted to film a certain video for years, but I've never found you know, the chance to film it. So I'm hoping if Scott doesn't have too many cakes on tomorrow, he'll be able to come for him and film because that's been filmed at my house because of because of like certain things I've got in my house. But yeah, I'll have to wait and see about that <laughs> yeah so i'm feeling pretty i'm feeling pretty positive this morning i have finally framed the photos in the photo frames so first one i have this beautiful photo frame from primark both of these are a pound from primark honestly the quality is amazing and i just have like a photo of me and my mother yeah, because yeah, we don't really have a lot of photos together and i really like this photo and you yeah, separate print in the background it's really cool secondly a photo of me and daisy at i'm trying to think of what a lake it is um i might have to ask scott however i love this photo because obviously the background is really nice it's such a lovely clear photo and obviously me and daisy look at her she's like it being in the water in there it just reminds me of summer really when you're allowed to like do her own thing and stuff you know a nice little photo and it's just the cutest little dog i have ever met then 
I got this lovely frame from TK Maxx, four ninety nine, and the reason I've got it is because I keep matching for, like in my room and stuff. And this is a photo of me and Scott. You know, to be honest, this photo is it, like well, it's a bit of an older photo now, but it, it's a lovely photo frame. I seem to find the places to put them to be honest because like in my room it's very messy. The only thing you find the big room is it does get messy really quickly and like you can make it it look tidy but it can still be it can still be really messy but yeah so i was kind of thinking yeah, this one over there then yeah, this one it may be on my bedside table and then this one probably over there you just kind of have a, a divide of where i put all my photos but yeah i will decide and show you guys also i do have loads more photos but i kind of got them printed out in bulk so that i wouldn't have to order more so yeah but primark home is really good for like photo frames and stuff i highly recommend the really good quality and you know, they're really pretty as well like how nice are they i've kind of placed all the photo frames i fancy have this one here it does it look a tiny bit out of place i think i'm gonna change you know, the whole setup of like a bedside table obviously it is a very small surface space so I will have to like decide and stuff, but I love that photo frame, it's so nice. Then we go over to here. Then this is just full of mess, I am aware as well. But we've got I me and Daisy, and then over there, me and my mother. How cute. I'm thinking of maybe selling yeah, this IKEA lantern and maybe yeah, this maybe. I don't have any use for this now. <laughs> um so we'll have to see, but yeah. Yeah, that's that really. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, these joggers are so comfortable. Yeah, they're from New Look. Oh my god, so cozy. I also have them in blue and pink. Oh, these are the really women's ones. However, I do have yeah, the petite yeah, women's as well. But yeah, oh, these are so comfortable. Honestly, if I could yeah, live in joggers for like the rest of my life, I actually would. I am home from work. I. I've obviously got to change my PJs because comfort is key and I am about to open a kind of Pepsi Max because there is nothing more satisfying than a can of Pepsi, of Pepsi Max. It has to be a can because who else feels like if these drinks always taste way nicer in a can compared to like a bottle because it really does it make a difference to what it tastes like. Oh my god, I'm so excited because I'm so thirsty. It's amazing. Anyway, a parcel has arrived. Not for myself, but from this place here. Calvin Klein. Um, it's basically a Christmas present for Scott. It's not you know, the most interesting thing in the world. It literally is just like a pair of boxes. But, I mean, a pack of boxes. Um, it, I love you're doing this thing on the box, it's like so funny. Right. It's because, you know, in men, it's usually like a staple, isn't it, to have them. So I've got him a pack of boxes, a blue pair, a khaki pair, and like a dark blue. It look more purpley online, but I mean, you know. And are these for like £40, I think. So obviously, like, if. Yeah, they can be expensive, but I mean, the men always need them, you know. <laughs> and it, it, to be honest, I had got everything else, so I was kind of struggling what to get. And like you mentioned them, so I thought, right, well, you're not really going to buy yourself them, so you might as well get them. So that's what I've got him. I was worried in case yeah, the Calvin Klein parcel it wasn't going to like arrive because, like, yeah, the tracking is said it was still in the warehouse, like four days after like it being shipped, but. It's finally arrived. It t it, it's taken five days to arrive, which I mean is a long time, but at least they're here. And that is all of these presents now. So either tomorrow or Thursday, I think I am going to show you all about I've got everyone for Christmas. I mean, I'm not going to... I'm going to tell them not to watch the vlogs coming up to Christmas because I'll also be showing you guys what I've got them for Christmas and stuff. But yeah. Oh, it, it is so nice to be finished for work. Like, it, it's just, yeah, it's dragged to day, mind. And when you start work and, like, it's daylight and when, like, you finish and it's pitch black outside, 
it just makes you feel a bit like oh you know the day is kind of over type of thing but i'm looking forward to my tea i'm having my tea at like quarter past six so i've got around like half an hour to wait honestly i'm starving so i think i'm gonna have, have some chocolate before tea i actually got these it's not the caramel truffle who's been eating my truffles i'm not being funny but i have not had many of these and it must be scott and mum who must sneak in my room and the take on sweets and chocolate because i'm not being funny you'll never if my mum comes into my room right if she'll open my drawer or open in my sweet drawer yes mum i am exposing you on youtube right now if she'll literally grab a few sweets and eat them i'm like why like why because these are my snacks <laughs> anyway i was gonna have the last two because it's seems as though somebody has taken them i'm absolutely fuming if these were my birthday present i will be i'll be doing an investigation <laughs> oh i am annoyed though because these are top tier like honestly they are unbelievable good morning everybody so it is until wednesday i have been at work this morning and i am now home making lunch i have actually got a chicken and mushroom pasta and sauce and i've actually I put a bit of a sweet corn in there and some butter it will be ready very soon but trust me guys i don't have these on a daily it's just because i'm going to scott and i need to be there by like quarter to one so i'm probably going to set off at like 12 to go to his today because he's had a bit of like a leaky pipe in his baking room and it is flooded both of the rooms one being the kitchen and one being the kind of living area so that's not very good so i'm basically gonna help him and i've also made a hot chocolate it's not very often i have a hot chocolate to go but i was kind of wanting one because it's a cold dull day today and i also have this morning on the tv <laughs> you know the pink tv it totally fits in with the whole kitchen vibe it used to be my old it used to be my old tv hence why it's in here because our old kitchen TV actually broke and I don't use it anymore. So it's it's probably the best TV we've had in the in the kitchen, to be honest. This is a shame it is pink. It isn't like a white or black or something, but oh well. But yes, I need to keep an eye on the pasta, actually. It can't stick to the pan. Yeah, I think it's nearly ready now. I'm starving. <laughs> it, it goes like I've, I've been up since four o'clock and I have a breakfast. And I had like a snack on my break, but... I need something more for them, so I'm hoping this will be the answer to how hungry I am. You can pets at home now, and hey, look at these rabbits up for adoption. Yeah. Mum said you could have a hamster, she doesn't mean about rabbits. I know, exactly, I'm going to say hi to the dog. <laughs> Hello. <Hi. laughs> oh, look, so cute. Oh. I really want to get a hamster. I'm oh, kind of convinced my parents to get a hamster. Oh, oh, rat. Oh, oh. No. Oh, no, thanks. It up to three years. Oh, God, no. no under the roof right <gasps> oh, look, it's, it's a little gerbil. Oh, look how cute they are. Just pushing towards hamster. <gasps> I thought they were going to sleep during the day. It's Siri. <gasps> look at it eating. It's Syrian hamsters. Oh, quick, get it, uh, get it in the zoo. They're the most friendliest hamsters. If Russians and whatever else. Yeah, they're more aggressive and not as friendly. Oh, no. yeah, that's why I've always had Syrians because I've always been yeah, a bit of temperament. I oh, know. It's that? cute. It's digging her nest. Hey, you're okay. You yeah, live in pairs or groups, you see, that's she why. She actually works in here, by the way. Does she? Yeah, no, she does. Oh, no, look at her. Are you on the vlog? Look at that. Is that his mouth? Is he here? No, it's not. You're yeah, very similar to hamsters, mine. Mm -hmm. It looks like I have any Syrian hamsters in. Oh, no, they don't. Wait till I tell Josh. Josh will answer. Yeah, we're getting fishes, aren't we? Yeah. We're excited. Yeah, we've got some fishes. We've got four guppies, one male, and three females, and Daisy. She's licking it. <laughs> she? Oh, you're licking the one, baby. Oh, think... you just got that voice. <laughs> I think she could smell yeah, the fish and stuff, and like yeah, the water, but all the females are pregnant. I, I don't, well, you can probably tell the black bits at the back of the tummy is basically either fry yeah that's what yeah, they call baby fish and then there's a male over there how do you like the fish oh yeah she does she loves them look at her 
Yeah. Scott? Oh, oh, look. Do you like them? Are they your friends? Yeah, we have lots of pets now. Yeah, you're the best one, though. You yeah, can see the other tank at the moment. Yeah, we've got um, a Garami in the breeder tank who's been a bit Would ill. Like the light on? It, I guess, please, we can show them. Yeah, are you going to watch them? You smell of new clothes. Yeah. I don't want you to focus on. Just so. Hello, everybody. Yeah, get hold of that, please. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, such a Garami. It's a little bit ill, so we were kind of isolating it. In the breeder tank, it's, it's got it's got seven days left of isolation <laughs> to earn its mask. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the shark's hiding. It bites it like upside down in the tree. It's it by the heater. I'm only joking. It's, the... it's still alive. Oh, are you chilling with us? Are you being nosy? Are you chilling with us? Are you oh. being nosy? Are you being nosy? <laughs> She's the cutest little bean in the world, aren't you? You're the cutest little bean in the world. You're a bugger. Yeah, you are. You're a bugger. <laughs> you're the best, best bugger. However you're feeling, however bad you're feeling, this little girl always helps. And you, I bet obviously. It's your consent. Oh, it's wet, Are you annoyed and stuff? Oh, I know, but I'm not annoying anyone. Oh. Yeah, what's the matter with Scott? Is he a bit upset and a bit angry? I got these from Stretcher yesterday. What are they? boxes, because presents, I can wrap them up and wrap them like a... Hey, did you ask them for boxes? No, I just took them off the shelf. Oh, fair enough. I just unpacked all their stuff and just... <laughs> I didn't really. Yeah, they need to go in the tank now because they've been out for like yeah. half an hour. Good one, everybody! Do you have any stressed thing? No, it's just got stress in it. Oh, does it? I've got some if you want some. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Oh. Uh, you look at the size of that shark. Honestly, huge. It's got there's some new fish food and a new kind of filler sponge. No, no. Yeah, look at her. She loves them. Is she proper watching? Oh, what is it? You can there. sniff that now. Oh. <laughs> One end, have a bit of bite. No. Yeah, we're not going to kill the fish, don't they? What if the fish think bloody hell it's a lion? <laughs> you lift it off a bit more, please. Cause oh, yeah, there. sorry. Yeah. It's the process of putting get the fish into the tank. It haven't really pooed as much as other fish you've had. <laughs> Give them a chance. <laughs> Was it in already? Oh, no. So you leave them like that, sitting in just for the temperature of the water to match this, and then yeah. you dunk them, and then you take it out and you dunk them again. Look at them. They're nearly free. Free as free And that's the process as really, you have to wait for them to, to be able to come back to life. Come back to life? They will swim out. It is so nice to be in bed. Yes, I do have like a bit of mascara under my eyes, but honestly, I really can't care less. Honestly, I am so tired. I had to drive home from Scott's, which took me around 40 to 45 minutes. Oh my God, I am exhausted. However, I'm going to be using Scott's pillow spray. He actually left it at my house and it is a lavender scented. So, I mean, it's not as if I'm going to need help in going to sleep tonight because I'm already tired, but it just smells really nice and calming and relaxing. So, I'm going to use that because I can. <laughs> Who else is not here? You know, I'm going to make the most of it, you know. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I am working probably until like around half ten and then after that I am you're gonna be going into town because I need to get a few bits for like this type of like aroma therapy facial for Friday. So I'm gonna be getting um uh, aroma therapy candle from TK Maxx hopefully if they have them. It may be a eleven percent one and then I'm going to buy one of those Febreze plugins because I do have one however it's at the shop and I really need one for my room because I want my bedroom to always smell nice when I come in and stuff. I mean it always smells okay anyways but it's nice to just be able to have something to plug in and you can change the scents around and all that you know. And I'm also going to buy a few new face masks for the facials so i'm going to be getting like a good night's sleep tonight and then i'll be from ready at four o'clock in the morning again oh 
get the chores they're getting up at four at least i only have to wake up at like four o'clock two days a week so it isn't too bad but it does tie you out a lot and then i'm probably gonna have to do some filming tomorrow because i have put it off for so long and it really needs done so yeah it is now a thursday and i am home as you can tell i didn't I didn't stay over at Scott's last night because I was working again this morning. So I am now home. And when I was on my way home, I decided to go to town because I need a few bits. Here, look what I got. I got some wrapping paper from TK Maxx, right? Yeah, it was still in November. But the wrapping paper in TK Maxx is absolutely unreal. So I went to TK Maxx, obviously. And I grabbed two rolls of the metallic gift wrap it's basically like a baby pink with little christmas trees on it's probably more of like a, a very pale orangey like pinky color with little christmas trees on and stars and i got two rolls and these are 2.99 each i feel as if when you get the better quality wrapping paper firstly it always it looks nicer and it's better quality so 2.99 and that is probably the only amount of wrapping paper I'll need this year because I'm not actually buying for like a lot of people this year so it's kind of better in a way so and then from TK Maxx and if not I can always get another roll or something else but they had so many rolls of wrapping paper by the tails and stuff because I was originally just going to be buying one item which i'll show you in a minute when i saw those i was like oh my god wow and if you're maybe thinking in my face is a bit pink i've just got out of the shower i've washed my hair and it's, it smells so good um i've just dried my hair as well so that is why it, my face is pink because of the heat of the hair dryer then also from tk maxx i did actually get a wee candle and she actually wrapped it up for me which is very nice of her I decided to go for a car, like a relaxing calming candle because I do facials at the salon where I work at and I don't I currently have any candles so as part of the facial now I'm going to be doing an aromatherapy facial so it's basically like a different scents, a relaxing scents and I decided to buy this relaxed DW home a lavender and calomile candle for 7 99 as soon as i saw this i was like i need to get it i did not even smell any other candles because my heart was set on this but oh my god it just smells so relaxing like it actually smells amazing oh yeah, so people are gonna love this candle and it was 7.99 it's a really good quality candle it has like a lovely wooden lid the packaging is nice and simple but very nice yeah so that's all i got from tk maxx then i also went to the wilkinson's or wilco's it used to be called wilkinson's but i think it's actually called wilco now um i decided to get one of these febreze plugins because i do actually have one i used to have one for myself however i've put it in my beauty room and i wanted it one for myself because I miss having it in my room, so I got the plug-in and the little scent thing, both of them for £5 in the set, and this is the Blossom and Breeze scent, and I do have this scent in a spray, and it smells unreal, so I'm excited to burn this, and I have plenty of uh, refills in other scents for this plug-in, they have brought out uh, the Christmassy uh, refills, so I really want to get some more of them because yeah, they smell really good and yeah, the Christmas scent from yeah, last year is still in yeah, the other one and it smells amazing. If you have something for £5 I think it's pretty good, you know, I love that. Then also I got a couple of, well, a face mask and a face scrub from Home Bargains. It come out to get there's some new kind of skincare bits for the salon. If you've not heard me rave about the bees, you need to try them. This is a facial scrub, however, I do have the face masks and these are my go-to kind of face stuff because it's reusable. So it's not as if you're going to be wasting products by 
you're cutting your soap open and then like you're chucking half of it out it has a lid on it it uses how much as you like but i want to get a face scrub because you need to give your face ex you need to give your face an exfoliation every now and then i can't remember how much i spent in home bargains i think i only spent one pound 18. because these must have been around like well 50 60p each i believe um so yes yeah, so, yeah, that is all i got from the shops i am now going to have a nap because i need a nap i'm looking more alive because i've such a bit of makeup on i don't have any foundation on because my skin look at all the spots on there it's been breaking out so what i've done is done my eyebrows i put the mascara on false eyelashes you're the biggest ones i can find obviously um a concealer a bit of bronzer lipstick and lip liner well lip gloss isn't lipstick but oh my god guys i've just been non-stop smelling this candle i am so excited to burn it tomorrow in the salon it smells you can even smell it through the lid oh my god it, it makes it feel so sleepy oh i am so happy about it also the sleep is spray yeah that is scots i've been using it and it actually really helps i mean i usually have no problem getting sleep anyway it, it, but sometimes if i find it harder i'll spray this and oh my god it works amazingly well yeah i feel wide awake now to be honest because i have i had a, a two and a half hour nap well probably three hours actually i am not actually sure if i have updated you all but i had a three hour nap and oh my god it's the best yeah, three hours anyway and then i literally woke up at 10 past four and then i had to leave the house at quarter past four to take my sister to work so i was in a bit of a rush but oh my god it was amazing just being able to have like a nice nap and stuff you know but this top is starting to feel a bit tight on me so i think i'm gonna take it off and get into my pjs because obviously yeah what else am i gonna do at this time it is friday last day of the working week how good does that feel however I am still working until Saturday, but yeah, as you can see, I don't have any foundation again because I really CBA. I just feel this has been making my skin break out, so I'm having a break from it again. I've just took my eyebrows on, eyelashes, concealer, powder, the bronzer, and lipstick because yeah, that's all I really need. And yeah, but last appointment at the salon today is at half two. It basically this morning i woke up at half six because i had a mobile makeup appointment for eight o'clock i drove to the salon and i got there at like nine o'clock because like it opens at nine o'clock and i like i cleaned all my makeup brushes because i do have another makeup a person at one o'clock today i actually have a facial appointment at 12 o'clock as well um so i've actually set up but i'm probably going to be at the salon at around half 11 again so I put my lunch in the oven because I am starving and I did wake up really early so obviously like, I'm going to be hungry now. I'm basically having like an early lunch because you've just got to do these things when you work self-employed. You can't always have like certain lunch breaks. What is that on my head? So it's like a, a wrinkle or something. I don't know. I kind of have a good day of clients today. Four clients in a day which is pretty good and then I've got a few tomorrow as well. So I'm excited. I'm back home now guys and I've just finished work. Oh my god, I look so tired now. My eyelashes are hanging off. Anyway, we're gonna make a trip to Salon Services and Capital. It basically salon like in the base it's basically like a like a wholesalers in a way for salon service well for beauty people and makeup artists, beauty people, hairdressers. So I'm going to stock up on like the boring stuff like bedroll a, a tint a face scrub a bits and bobs oh thank you very much oh that's really good so, uh, it originally it came out all the way and it filled the full page so i've got one upstairs that's massive but yeah but that's like a good size because yeah. like, it stands out all right very good thank you very much it's got like a gift voucher i'll cut it to sh size yeah Thank you. Well, well, very good. I made that all by myself on Fonto, guys. Pr a proud moment right here. I'm back from Salon Services and Capital, so I'm going to show you all what I bought. I'm also in my dressing gown again because obviously, what 
the normal person it wouldn't you know what i mean but what i've got here is oh my god it's so heavy a massive a bag full of stuff so it went to services first and i actually got first of all this skin truth the gentle facial exfoliator it basically smells of aloe vera and star flower i need a new face scrub because mine has run out and it smells pretty average it's like it's not the nicest smelling thing in the world but it'll do for an exfoliator you know then i also got a new the Refect or Sill eyebrow tint if I actually use these and yeah, they're the best and this colour it seems to be like in the most popular and like in the most kind of it, it, what's the word for it it's the most kind of it's universal the, the right word it, the most common it's shared to use on people or like I use this shade to mix with like a black or like a lighter colour so yeah then I also got uh, a replenishing face mask, chamomile and a lavender and uh, this type of scent is always really nice. Mmm, that does smell really nice. It's not too in your face type smell, which I like. The only thing with these products is, these are not sealed, but I mean, it's not as if the people are going to be testing them because it's like a salon place you know what i mean and then i also got you're moving on to capital now i've got a three pack of cream wax so this is the rose scent and i thought i was stock up because i don't actually have a spare wax at the moment so i stocked up obviously like this was 11.90 plus 20 percent of vat so if i work it out it'll be like 14 15 pounds for them which i don't think is too bad to be quite honest and then it was oh no i got some spatulas as well from capital these would have been 150 ish i don't think it's too bad for them as well because i need them then it was the buy four culturals get you the fifth one free so i obviously got five of them so i'm all stocked up on bedroll as well um so that all came to 60 quid in you're probably thinking 60 quid for all that yeah it's quite a lot of money <laughs> if this is the choice of having your own business having to buy stuff you know it is saturday and i've been at work i've got a full face of makeup on as well and you're probably thinking oh my god she actually looks alive today but yeah i've had a good day at work today and i've just been slipping my face with maltese and truffles because i love chocolate anything chocolatey i'll have I also had a Christmas dinner, a mugshot, the pasta thing, honestly, it tastes absolutely divine. If not tried them, you need to try them before Christmas, obviously, ends and stuff. Because unreal, like, it literally tasted of, like, a Christmas dinner and the sauce was like a gravy sauce. It was unreal. Anyway, yeah, I'm in my bed because, to be quite honest, I'm absolutely freezing cold. Um, I want to keep warm. I think we're going to put fairy lights on again because they're so cute. There we go. How cute are they? I love them. But yeah. I'm just going to relax now. Um, and then... Yeah. I'm going to enjoy my Pepsi Max as well because I am thirsty and it also has a bit of caffeine in it. But yeah. Tomorrow, I'm going to be seeing Scott. And yeah, we're going to be filming a certain type of video I have been they wanted to film for the longest time enjoyed like you know, watching all type of videos so i'm excited to like get all the stuff for it and film it tomorrow with scotty but yeah i'm now just gonna relax have a lovely quiet afternoon or evening however you like to call it and take my eyelashes off because honestly i cannot wear them for like ages and ages now because they make my eyes feel so heavy i don't know about like anybody else but they make my eyes so heavy I i've also got a post to put up on instagram because i was working with a brand insert a name here hair extensions honestly unreal i genuinely love them i'm just saying this because i was i was gifted them for a video but they are unreal um i'm definitely going to wear them again like when i go out sometime i might be working in the salon might have them in my hair maybe but yeah 
I love them. I'm gonna enjoy my Pepsi Max and uh, relax. Honestly, my eyes feel so heavy. It is now Sunday, and Scott is at my house. He actually stayed over last night. We're actually going into town to get like a few Christmas presents. I'm filming a separate video today, so which involves a bit of shopping and stuff. If you have any guesses, leave your comments down below. But and my mum actually got well, I was a paid her back for these, but she got me two of these. It's so good. The gift tags and then some the ribbon. It used to be called Paper Chase, but I think it's not. It's now called Occasions. These as well, which are really nice, which are actually from the Wilco's, and then there's some of these bows as well because yeah, the wrapping paper I got is also like a baby pink and gold with Christmas trees on. There we go. But yes, we're going into town. I've got makeup on again. I'm all dressed up. I'm wearing in my little cute. A bag of nardis on in a while. I've got my scarf on. I'm also going to put my boots on and yeah, we're going to go into town, aren't we? So, you ready? Yeah, you just walk your really? sister. Really? Yeah, I didn't walk my sister up. I'll haul everyone and we've done a little bit of spending. Oh, I'm tired. We've got some presents and stuff for you, didn't we? In the shops. Yeah. Um, head for Daisy, don't look in that bag. No. A little dog toy for Daisy. And then some dog treats and more dog toys for days for Christmas. This is all we're we've getting already. Three toys. Isn't it? Yeah, look. Treats. It, it, this is all we've got days for Christmas. Oh no, we haven't. We've got this as well. Three toys. You know the little goose. In this that. thing. Well, that's more than enough, oh, isn't it? No. It hasn't leaked everywhere, has yeah. it? Yeah. Are you sure? Isn't the other thing that's leaked? It's more likely the spray that's leaked, is it? Are you sure? Yeah, because it's wet inside. Uh oh. It's a spray, yeah. <gasps> yeah but basically, we've got a doggy shampoo, dog spray, this, this, <laughs> and yeah, this, and then for these two. You know, uh oh. <laughs> it's on somebody's present. <laughs> I mean, it is. But yes, it was probably like a chill kind of evening now. It's nearly four o'clock, so... No way. We've been Gosh. in town for like three hours. We went to McDonald's lunch as well because we're so healthy. Had left soon. Yeah, oh well. Um, but anyway, I am going to end this weekly vlog here because we'll be <coughs> starting the next weekly vlog tomorrow. Oh, it's never ending, is it? I know. It's like oh. I, I can never have a break from YouTube, but you know, it's, it's, I actually do really enjoy if someone weekly vlogs it's more chilled out you know but if you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and we will see you all in, in my next weekly vlog and in my other main channel videos so yes i'll see you then bye bye everybody see you.